Whoa, got them big blowers, them llamas, them street sweepers, whatever you want to call it, choppers, um, artillery, toys, whatever. Um, yeah, man, we're going to have some fun. Uh, first and foremost, we want to make sure it's a safety check on all your guns. Anything you do, whether you cleaning, cleaning them, um, painting them, whatever, whatever. Just safety, safety, safety first. Make sure they're empty. I will say this one is not empty because this one's actually chambered up. Uh, yeah, just, just to, you know, got to stay protected. Anyways, what we're going to do is actually both of these are actually chambered up. Um, we'll put these over here. Just safety first. You never know. You ne you never know. People, I, yeah, anyway. Um, we'll, we'll wait on this one too. Um, since we already painted that one, what well, we are going to, yep, I know y'all see it. Yes, sir. This is what we going, this is what we going with. Candy. I think I just put this here. It'll be all right. Oh, no, never mind. Let's dry. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some candy apple red. This, this will stay the same. And as a matter of fact, we're going to take this apart with, dang. Yeah, man. Um, we're going, we're going to focus on these two tonight. We'll, we'll focus on these three tonight. So we'll do the slide, we'll do the slide, we'll hold this one, put that over here. And where's the magazine, the bottom of the mag? I normally don't paint the mag. Yeah, I normally don't, even though this one is painted. But <clears throat> um, I'm not, I don't plan on shooting these or anything like that because I know they shoot. If you don't believe me on the shooting issue or if you don't believe me on the shooting process, Feel free to go look at my previous videos, especially with this one. Let me go ahead and get this camera set up and then we're gonna start. All right, I don't wanna make this video long. Uh, like I said, safety check on the Glocks, on all Glocks, they pretty much all work the same. Uh, make sure it's empty, uh, rack it back, pull the trigger, grab it about half, maybe half an inch. Grab on both sides, scoot it forward and it should slide right off. Um, you got your guide rod and then you got the barrel. Take them out, simple as that. This is what we will be painting. Um, I'm gonna leave this this frame white. We're gonna paint this as well. So we'll, we'll paint, paint. And then, uh, what is this? Smith & Wesson SD40. It's the same way. They come apart, uh, come apart just like the Glock. So ain't no need to really show y'all on that. Um, as far as the AR, we just gonna hold off on that. <clears throat> um, I really wanna get something done tonight. I'm exhausted. I went ahead and finished up on that box Impala. So uh, yeah, I, I wanna, I, I didn't even wanna make this video, but I told, I told my brother that I would have his gun painted by today. So that's what we gonna do. Um, so we'll do these two and this one as well. This is a, this is a Ruger. What kind of, oh, SR9C. Um, I d don't know how to take this one apart. So we gonna find out right here. <clears throat> Safety check, like I said, make sure all your guns is empty. Um, yeah, so I bet, I bet it's like this. We gonna find out. Give me some time. I ain't about to Google it. Uh, there we are. Um, rack it back all the way until you can actually slide this lever up right there like so. So when you get it in this position, this little plate right here, um, just grab with a pick tool. Or really, you can push it probably. There you go. You can probably push it through. Push it through. Grab it all the way up. There we go. And I think it should slide. <laughs> slide right forward. Just like that. Then the same thing. Guy rod. And then the barrel. What I, I really want to get these sights off. But yo, it's not easy getting these sights on. I know. I know that there is. Um, I know that there's a kit or a tool to take off the side uh, sights, but I just really wasn't expecting to take it this far. You know what I'm saying? I was just kind of doing this for fun, but I get a lot of, I get a lot of comments saying, man, take off the, you know, 
take off the winter collars, but I don't even, I don't, I really don't even care to go that extra step because I, I wasn't taking it serious. Like I was just doing this for fun, but I will try. I will try to get these sides off tonight. And if I can't, then unfortunately I can't. All right, so um, got pretty much everything apart. Uh, got the frame over here. My frame, took my frame apart. Like I said, if y'all want to see how these uh, come apart, just look at my previous video. Videos. Got all the pieces here. The gun over here. Um, then I'm going to just buzz over with some 400 grit sandpaper. Um, you just want to scuff it up just enough. You don't have to take off the paint, you know, the, the texture. Uh, you just want to scuff it up. Same thing with the bottom. If you got plastic pieces, you want to use adhesion promoter. Adhesion promoter just helps uh, paint stick to plastic a lot better. Uh, rubberized other undercut. That ain't it. Oh, here we go. Adhesion promoter right here. Thought I had some bulldog. Adhesion promoter, primer, and then paint it is what I would recommend. That's what I'm about to do. So let me go ahead and buzz these on down. You can either soak it in lacquer thinner or acetone, whatever you want to use. I did do that when I painted it. I did do that when I painted this one. I just soaked it in the acetone, the lacquer thinner, and poured it up, and it just took the old paint right off. But right now, we're just going to use some 400 grit uh, sandpaper, buzz them up. I'm trying to figure out why am I still up. By God. All right. Um, after two and a half hours of disassembling guns and sanding and masking, we are finally ready to spray. Golly, I'm tired. Anyway, all right. So in that AR, where are you at? Oh my God. Taking apart there, that wasn't no joke, man. I was taking apart, like, I don't know how I'm gonna put that together. I don't know how I'm gonna put that together. I don't know how, but thank God for Google and YouTube. These we're gonna go ahead and prime. That we're gonna go ahead and prime. We're just gonna do a light little coat of primer. This will prime it, cause it's metal. Anything metal, you, if it's showing bare metal, you wanna go ahead and prime it. Oh yeah, I forgot these pieces over here. These pieces are plastic, plastic. We're gonna adhesion promote these two right here. Um, that has already paint on there, so we're not gonna really put no adhesion promoter. This is metal. Just gonna prime that. Um, other than that, man, let's go ahead and shake this primer up and get it going. man everything that had metal on it we primed except for uh my slide over there because it has paint on it's kind of confusing okay so y'all stay y'all stay with me if it's bare metal such as this structure it needs to be primed but if it's metal and has paint on it you don't have to prime it because bare metal is not showing such as this piece right here this is metal, but it's painted. It's already paint on there, so there's no need to really prime it. We're just gonna slap some paint on there and call it. Versus this magazine was showing bare metal. This slide was bare metal. That was bare metal. That was bare metal. This is painted. It's metal, but it's painted. We don't need to prime. Haven't been painting long enough to know everything about paint. I am aware that I'm supposed to grab a few others uh, in this brand, the House of Colors to actually produce some candy candy color. So um, I know I was supposed to grab the House of Color silver base coat. And I believe, I don't know the difference between uh, like, cause they had apple red base coat, but this can just says apple red. So I don't know the difference. I don't know if I'm supposed to use, I know I'm supposed to use their silver, but I should have grabbed the House of Color silver. And I would assume the apple red base coat and then this can right here and then the clear but i ain't got the money like that i ain't even i can't eat i'm broke nigga 
nigga, I'm broke. Yeah, all right then. So yeah, I ain't got it like that. So yeah, we about to go ahead and try and experiment and see if we can just see how well this candy comes out with uh just some hot tech, regular silver, and just straight apple red and clearing it. We're gonna see how it come out. So y'all stay tuned, let's get it. I'm about to apply this silver at eight PSI. We don't need a whole lot. I got my, my fluid. I got majority of my fluid in, so Check it out. Two oh five in the morning, freaking tired. But hey, look, man, there it is. That's the silver. Um, got the magazines over here. Had to make some rearrangements. Uh, yep. Hey, that silver looking good too, man. I ain't gonna lie. I like that silver. Silver and white. Silver, red, and white. Oh, we. Anyway, man, let's go ahead and load up this gun for this Apple Red. Um, anxious to see how it's going to turn out. How y'all think it's going to turn out, man? Drop them comments right now. We're going to wait. Drop your comments. Is it going to be scale from 1 to 10? How is this Apple Red going to come out with, um, with um, it being half-assed, I guess? $130 for a quart. You can probably... probably uh, get it cheaper online but i wanted to grab it off the shelf while they had it how do y'all think it's gonna come out man y'all talk to me laying this like i said man you're supposed to have the house of color base and the house of color uh clear coat as well you're supposed to have all of that but can we pull it off can this lay down like some action can you get away with this if you can it's a wrap Smells like candy. Man, this looks freaking good. Yes, sir. All right, man, let's go ahead and make it happen. Make it happen. Let's try not to make a mess, though. I ain't got my little string. So what's this, two to one? Let's find out. Should be two to one. If it's on here. Doubt it's on here. <laughs> paint so advanced they like nigga you should know <laughs> mm. here we go oh even through the plastic boy you see them pearls in there busting golly bezo Gonna be nice. I hope it's nice. Test spray. <laughs> Alright, y'all ready? <laughs> Food y'all. Alright. I'm just messing with y'all. Hold on. Give me just a second. I'm nervous. Oh my 
respirator at. That's tough. like this red wait till we get the gloss on there though wait to let me show you what gloss can really do i did like a little drop coat uh i wonder why it look like that look a little ashy let this sink in but we'll see how it look with the gloss on there Let's see how I look with the gloss. All right, man, it's the next morning. We better go ahead and check out how we're looking, how we're looking. I got a little bit of sleep. My daughter woke me up and told me it was a spider on the ceiling. And it sure enough was a spider on the ceiling. I didn't kill it. Eh? He was too big. I ain't gonna lie. I had to go call my big brother. No, I'm just lying. It was a big spider. Look at it, man. This is, this is gorgeous, man. Okay, so the thing is, uh well we're gonna have to probably put it in the sun or something um because i i have an idea of what candy look like but uh damn is that dry shot that's almost dry. oh that sucks um i have an idea of what candy look like but i didn't take the full steps you know so it might not have the full potential um of candy but this is sexy to me this is like if i if somebody asked me what i take my car this color most definitely i would i would no hesitation i would take my car this color in black for sure um i can promise you camera does no justice i'm a, i think i'm gonna kind of wait i'm gonna kind of yeah i'm gonna kind of wait till my guy gets here um like i said we're gonna have a special guest um pretty soon and um this is just one of them so he'll hit the corner here in just a minute brother from another mother ran track with him uh went to high school with him but 
Now he's on to bigger and better things, boy. I tell you, bigger and better things, man. I I wasn't no football player. I ain't no cap. I tried to be when when my coach pulled me aside. I was like, you can't hold the ball like that. You gotta flip it the other way. I knew without a shot of a doubt, I was not a, a football player. As a matter of fact, I couldn't even hit. I used to hit with my eyes closed, um, cause I I didn't want to get hit. I remember I had the Oklahoma drill, and bruh. I used to get mad because I think the coach used to do that on purpose. Uh, I, I, I think the coach used to do that on purpose. Uh, the Oklahoma drill, my skinny little ass be going against these big, uh, these big linemen. Boy, I go nowhere. <laughs> All right, let's go see if he here. He said he here. He said he hit in the corner. <laughs> oh, we there he go. All right, right. Yes, sir. The thing about it's my accident. When I got the rap, it's starting to come up a little bit. Like, you can see the little rocks. Like the Bro, rocks. and the crazy part, I always wanted to see a wrapped car because yeah. I wondered the durability on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, let me fun. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, I know they sell. Like, oh my god, bro! This, is, <laughs> bro. I promise you, I'm gonna get one. Everybody on my YouTube Wait, channel, go no, bro. I promise you, bro. I didn't. I didn't look at them. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I didn't been looking. Um, just waiting on these YouTube texts to roll in. You know, get no. bigger at least. <laughs> and this thing. How long you had it? About like nine months now. Nine months. Yeah. Damn, bro. This. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The the black the black look mean, man. <laughs> It was white. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got the windshield tinted too? Yes, sir. Yeah, got to, got to. All right, man. Hey, look, we're going to knock this out. Uh, we just going to fix some corrections on right here, some imperfections on the wheels. What's the back ones? The back ones? The front ones. on that side. This one? No, no, no. This side. This side. All right. Yes, sir. Bet, bet, bet. Say less, man. We're going to knock this out, and then I'll cut y'all back on. Let's get it. I know, man. I forgot to cut y'all back on before he left, but... Hey man, we was in here chopping it up, vibing, catching up on a few things. That's my guy, my bro, my brother. Went to high school together. We ran track together. And that man is fast. That man is hella fast. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's the same nigga that didn't took my spot in the four by one. Now I'm thinking about it. Damn. My senior year. I should've, I should have stole this car. Nah, anyways. Uh yeah, that's my guy, man. It's it's good to hear from him, good to see him, good to know that he's doing great. If y'all do not know him, that was Terry Wilson, former quarterback from Kentucky. Uh, yeah, he was he was doing his thing on that team. But I believe he's transferring to Mexico, New Mexico, something like that. He's playing for Mexico. So, uh, yeah, if y'all don't know about him, get to know him. Because uh, that, that guy is a beast. He's a monster. Um, we had some slight work. He just wanted to just uh, touch up on his uh, rim. Nothing too serious. So we knocked that out. Since, uh, he's headed out. So, uh, we're going to put these guns together. Uh, the customer's on the way to pick his car up. So, another another satisfied customer right here. We ain't even here yet. So, um, he'll come back in a week. We'll get it buffed. Wet well, color sand and buff. We'll attempt to put these guns together. I know the pistols would be easy. That's a cakewalk. But um, it's that AR. I'm going to have to take it in the house and actually do my research, do my due diligence on trying to put it together. So, yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram, as a matter of fact. Uh, show my brother some support. Um, show me some support. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put these guns together, and then we're going to check them out in the sun.